Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow. Our scripture today is taken from the book of Romans, Romans 12, verses 1 to 2. Brothers and sisters, in light of all I have shared with you about God's mercies, I urge you to offer your bodies as a living and holy sacrifice to God, a sacred offering that brings him pleasures. This is your reasonable, essential worship. Do not allow this world to mould you in its own image. Instead, be transformed from the inside out by renewing your mind. As a result, you will be able to discern what God wills and whatever God finds good, pleasing and complete. Take my life and let it be was written um, by Frances Havergal, and uh, I'm not sure how long she had been a Christian, but in December of 1873, and, and we know that she died in 1879, so um, six years, the last six years of her life, um, on, on, in December 1973, she surrendered herself completely to Jesus Christ. And uh, the way I read that was before she was a Christian and she was living the Christian life, but she hadn't given her entire um, self over to being used by God for his ministry. And she writes, I yielded, I just yielded myself to him and utterly trusted him to keep me. Two months later, uh, Frances went for a five-day visit to a place where there was going to be several non-Christians. And so before going, she prayed to God, Lord, give me all in that house. And not surprisingly, that's what happened. And she was so happy on the last night that she just couldn't sleep. She was so excited about how God had been moving in, that meet in those meetings. And as she praised the Lord, the words of this hymn came to her mind. And the next morning she wrote it, finishing with ever only, all, underlined, all for thee. I love this hymn. I like to sing it to the slower tune like I sang at the beginning. To me, this is a beautiful um, response song, an altar call song. And it is a prayer that each and every one of us need to um, give to God. May, so that may the words of this song today be our prayer to God. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Filled with messages from me. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I behold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Every power as thou shalt choose. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. 
it shall be thy royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour, at thy feet its treasured store. Take myself and I will be ever only all for thee, ever only all for thee. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you in prayer right now. And Lord, as we have listened to those words, Father, I just pray for each and every one who's, li who's listening right now. Lord, may we give you our life. May we offer you our lives as living sacrifices, Lord, that you may take and you may use. May all that we do, all our work may be for you, Lord. All our work is for the Master. So, Lord, for those of us who are handy with our hands uh, or what comes to mind is uh, compassion, Lord, those who are, have the gift of uh, ministry uh, with their hands, Lord, bless them and may they use that ministry. Lord, for those who are evangelists, the ones who are good at taking the message to those who are lost, Lord, we pray for those that you will use their feet to take them and use them when needed. Father, I thank you for the, um, uh, where it says, by take my lips, I thank you for we uh, are able to express ourselves to you, not just by saying the words, but by singing. And for those, Lord, who are able to use their voice to, um, to help bring others into the presence of you, Lord, may they sing for you. May their, their voices be just a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. And Lord, we, we give you our life. We give you our hearts. We give you our will. May your will be done because of the love that we have for you and you have for us. Bless us today, Lord. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.